We're gonna do this quickly so you can do it too. Cool, let's go. Basically, this is not that hard. What do you want? You wanna have a clip and then you take that clip and you drag a text. A te <laughs> you drag a text layer on top of it. And then what you want to do next is you wanna copy and add a second layer of the video on top of the text layer. So basically what I'm doing is option, hold, click on it, drag. So I copied this clip, okay? I'm gonna get rid of the audio track because we don't need that. You're gonna hit C and then you can just basically unlink them and then delete this one and now drag this on top of it. Now you got like this sandwich going on, okay? You got your original clip with the voice and the, or the audio. Then you got the text layer in between and you got the copy of the visuals of the first clip on top of the text layer. What that is going to do, it's basically giving you now the option to manipulate the one layer on top of the text to your likings. So you can then do the effect we are about to do. Cool. So I'm gonna highlight this clip on top of the layer and I will be going over to my color tab. This is all already color graded. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm not gonna go into this, but I will basically add a node at the end of my entire tree. That's gonna be option S. You can like option and S and you will add another node. And what we are going to do now is we take this field, like we click, right click into this field and we're gonna add a alpha output. Add alpha output. Now this blue channel appeared here and that is basically what we need. We're gonna need this output in order to create those layers so we can have the top layer basically taking over that part that we are going to highlight and the rest will then be invisible. All right, we're gonna connect these because that's very important. It needs to have this uh, connection, <laughs> otherwise it doesn't work. And then you just stay on this, um, on this node, you go over, you go over to this right here, magic mask. You click on the magic mask and now what you're gonna do is, you're gonna go over here, you're gonna select the plus, which will be your uh, tool that you need to do this. You're gonna also highlight this so you can see the overlay of the mask. And then you're gonna go on quality and you select better. That will just give you a better output. So we wanna have the text behind my hat, all right? What I'm gonna do is we're gonna highlight my hat. And now as you can see, the magic mask takes care of this. It's incredible. And you basically highlight everything you want to be in front of the text layer, okay? Maybe this could also be the case for this one here, not sure yet. And if you see that there is kind of like, you know, this reddish um, overlay coming through the where you don't want to have this, you can go over here and you can select the minus pipette. Pipette, I don't know how you call this tool, but yeah, you know what I mean. And then you can basically deselect the, the part where you don't want this to be coming through. Now, this is kind of like a very small part, so it might not even work here. Uh, so this is not the best example to do this, to be honest. I mean, it should actually be working, but uh, let's see. To not overcomplicate this, we use the head for this. And then what you want to do, you want to track. Like you're gonna, you're gonna check if everything is kind of like highlighted. You can see my ear here is not. So we go back to the plus one and we're gonna select this. So it's also 
selecting my ear, which is important. The rest looks good. Um, you can really kind of like outline, or like, you know, just like outline this entire, my, my entire hat to, to get like a better, yeah, output. But I think this looks good. And then what you want, you're gonna go to this right here. It's basically going to analyze the entire clip for you, all right? You're gonna click on it, it's tracking the mask, as you can see right now. All right, that should be done. It has tracked the entire clip with my hat and everything that looks like similar, you know, my, I mean, I kind of like highlighted the t-shirt. So anyway, we go back to our timeline and now you can already see what's going on. The text is somehow uh, behind my, my body, but I didn't highlight this very nicely here. I just wanted to have, you know, my hat for this, for this um, example. So we didn't focus on, you know, down here. So that's why it looks very bad. But what we're going to do now is we're going to move the text layer up, right? Just there where we actually wanted it to be. And because also we didn't focus on this part here, like you need to really try around and, you know, put a lot of like, like if you want this to be very good, you need to also kind of like go back and forth and, you know, select the parts that you actually want. But as we just said, we just wanted to have this behind my hat. So that's where we're focusing right now. So as you can see, it is behind my hat. I'm just going to go and change the, I'm going to go and change the color here so we can see it a bit better. Uh, let's just go with black. And then we have this, this is one, this one here, my favorite uh, font. And yeah, I mean, that's pretty much it. As you can see, it did quite a good job. Um, could it be better? Of course. Could it be worse? Yes. But that's the entire trick. You just really need to play around with this. You need to become comfortable to really like, you know, try things out. And then if it doesn't work, you go back and try it again. Like it, it, the magic mask works very well, but if you are just relying on it, that it just magically always works, then you're gonna set yourself up for some very, uh, yeah, it's just gonna be a, a few headaches uh, along the way. So always go back and forth. This is always, you know, trying out things. And this is, this is what you basically, do you know you can change the color again if you want just to make this a bit more uh you know a bit more nice pretty for the shadow there we go and there you have it the text behind my hat if i play it back now probably not as good because it's very slow but yeah it works hope this helped and yeah drop a comment like subscribe if this is something you're into and i will drop more of this in the future. Stay creative and take care.